Hello and welcome to this video. In today's video, we are finally continuing the MSQ. I am done with all the silliness that is Glamour. I'm done with the silliness that is the other things I did two videos ago. We need to focus. We need to continue the MSQ so I can get my chocobo. It's pretty important. It's actually the most important thing right now. Not only that, also the thing I get from this one. I cannot remember for the life of me what it is called. Um, no, I cannot. We are going to continue it. Go to Little Came, sure. And let's continue, huh? Let's go out. Let's see. We got asked to speak with the, okay. Speak with the scion, uh, is it Skion or Scion? I'm pretty sure it's Scion of the seventh dawn. I definitely will. Who is it? Somebody downstairs, maybe? Huh, it is. Are you ready? In our little grand outfit. I'm ready. Oh, am I doing it right? Oh, I am. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, look at that. Hello. I take it you are Lil Cozy. Tataru sent word that you had arrived. Lady Minfila, Min, Lady Minfilia has eagerly awaited your coming. This way, if you please. I do please. What do we take? We take stats. Huh. I don't think I like any of these. No. this over here uh no what is, this? what is it oh it's for the hands hmm no we want money <laughs> okay <gasps> it's the one i saw in the video i've heard so much Shh. well met friend my name is minfilia and minfilia. i lead the scions of the Se I'll turn it I on. have awaited your coming. Okay. Minfilia. Look at her. Please. Be at ease. You are among friends here. Huh. Look at me. She's so pretty. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. Okay. Let me know. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. Would be nice. <laughs> we are the scions of the seventh scion. Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eosia. No, Eosia. <laughs> Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known. As the primals okay their existence is a bane upon eorzea nay the world at large and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose hmm. our order is home to a number of individuals who like you possess a rare and special talent this talent takes various forms but one holds particular interest for us okay Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Mm. Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Mm. Felt as though you were hovering in space? Yeah! A mind without a body? Yes! All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as... The echo. The echo. The echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. Okay. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. Okay. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power. Truly. And this power is strong within you. The force is strong with this one. 
It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. Yeah. That's right. I too possess the echo. Sisters! With that established, let us return to the subject of the primals. Yeah. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Hmm. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Hmm. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. Hmm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Mm. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? I agree. And so I implore you, lend us your power. Yeah, okay. I will. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. We are fortunate to have a number of uh, influential allies, and at a word and at a word from me, they will gladly um, afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied you. The right to employ retainers, for example. It's a retainer. I think it's because isn't the thing uh, on the brace braces braces. Ah, braces. Um, braces is something completely different. Bra <laughs> brace, braces. Stop, sir. Braces. Um, when you're done with them, you get a little uh, iron um, line uh, put behind your teeth. I have them on both of mine. And that's a retainer, I'm pretty sure, also. So that confuses me. Are you familiar? La? That's also a la word i familiar 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 <laughs> with them they are individuals who may be re relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf the papers you requested my lady Thank you, Tataru. The uh, the pleasure is mine, my lady. Uh, by way of welcoming gift, nay, by way of a welcoming gift, I have taken the liberty to adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the service of a retainer. Yes, you will need to consult the retainer vocate regarding the particulars of this agreement. But believe me when I say that retainers will prove invaluable. Invaluable. I can say this. Value. Invaluable. Inv <laughs> invaluable. I know it to you in your adventuring in divorce. That this gesture service as evidence of our commitment to all to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask uh, that you aid us to the fullest extent of your talents. I will. Uh, to mutually beneficial relationship, nay, a mutual beneficial relationship, I'm sure you will agree, and one which serves the greater good besides. Well, that was a very veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is important that all concern, concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know our purpose and what we can offer you. I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me within without fear of cen censure. censure. In good faith, I shall entrust you with our order's password, which our members use to reach one another when afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. Wild Rose. Ooh. Why do I have that on my mind all of a sudden? I am a retainer! 
Yeah, we're doing that immediately. Retainers are helpful NPCs who can be hired by players to carry out such tasks as storing access skill, gear, and gear, or selling unwanted items on the markets. They may also be sent a field on ventures. Definitely. A, con a contract of service can be drafted by a Frydvib uh, in uh, Limsaluminsa, Panel in Gredania, Panel. Huh. And uh, Chachabi in Uldar, Ponilla in Iskard, or Kas Kasashi in Kugain. Okay, so we need to find Panel. What is the next thing? A wild rose by any other name. That's this one. Oh, let me speak with you again. We science have but one objective to safeguard the future of Yosea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not what it is your desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Yosea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me your answer, little. What will you say? I will go whether the wild rose blooms or yours is no smell small in the wall. The dangers are great. Oh uh, no. I will go with it where it blooms. Is waiting to hear whether or not. I'm coming with you. Definitely. I take it you will help us. I will. Wonderful. I knew Wonderful. You Splendid. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. It does ring any bells. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Okay. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These hmm. noble men and women were called the Archons. Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. Wow. The masked woman is Ida, and Ida. beside her is Popolimo. The Papalimo. two are charged with surveying the Twelve's Wood. Okay. Hello there. Hello there. Ida. Welcome. Thanks. I had every confidence that you would agree to help us. Yeah. Me too. Good. They're so silly always. Okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. Thanks. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Okay. Greetings. Greetings. Last Yestola. but not least is Orianje, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Yestola. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. Okay. The words of a dear friend. I'm glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartano, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Amazing. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Hmm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures clerk. that everything runs smoothly. Aww. Pleased to meet 
make your acquaintance. Cutesy. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. I hope so too. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Interesting. Orianger, have the documents Orianger. arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Hmm. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Okay. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to oh. Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. Hmm. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Hmm. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and hmm. the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Hmm. Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. Hmm. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. Detective you Cozy. Have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, fair lady. Hmm. Interesting. A lot of information. I love when that comes to de -de -de. Okay. Amazing. The wild rose. Where are they? Where are they? Hey. Then crit. Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and a spade of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like it is like that any discoveries we make in relations to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on the caravan, uh, our friends at Amagina and Sun's Mineral Concern have doubled security over all their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abduction should be our priority. According to our preliminary According to our preliminary fin findings, the majority of the missing missing were last seen in the vicin vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Isambard serves as the camp de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see uh, that he gives us his full cooperation. Okay, goodbye. Interesting. So now I'm done here. Uh, leave the solar. I'm pretty sure we should. Interesting. So now we are working with them. Let's see. Where should I go? I should go. Can I just. Am I attuned? Of course I'm not attuned. <laughs> Why would I be attuned? Exit the Vesta Bay. I think I will exit Vesta Bay. Vespa, Vesta. Okay, because then I can actually use the map as intended. Okay, so it is Ida and Papalumo. Interesting. So many things are happening. A couple of new men has been introduced to us. Okay, I need to focus. But how do one get over here? Where am I currently? I'm not attuned to that. It's a little hard for me. I should go somewhere. Speak with in Camp Drybone. The thing is that when I do this, it 
doesn't really show where I am. I'm over here. Okay. Not attuned. Surely I don't have to run all that way. I cannot... No, no, no. That's not correct. I should be able to take a ship or something. Make your way to Camp Drybone. Speak with... Surely I can take a ship or something. Is this something I can actually take down here? I must be able to take a ship. Right? Or what? That Tatafu! Wasn't... No. Tatafu. Huh. I thought that was her name. Uh, am I... How... Oh, am I... I'm just testing now. It might be completely wrong. I don't think I need to go to Limsa Luminsa. Was it? Was it Limsa Luminsa? No. Is it? I'm confused. I mean, still, I still need to be here. I just... I'm not attuned. I got that. But how would one... Go to a place where they aren't attuned. Hmm? Can you see me? No, you cannot. How would one do that? Would one take the fairy ducks, maybe? But this is the fairy ducks. And they can only send me to Limsa. No. Huh. Is it... Do I really have to run? all that way I find that hard to believe I do really let's go to this place and it might be a mistake but let's test it I'm really confused uh, okay let's do this so th th this is the map I will Take you to my unattuned, also unattuned, 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 unattuned. Interesting. Would one run down here and... You know what? We are cozy gamers. I will run. Let's go for this portal. Not portal, but you know what I mean. And then uh, just run for it. Then we will also see the landscaping. That's not bad either. Meet new creatures and such. Let's see. So if I go down here, I should be a, should I, can I cross here? I know I can probably take another way, but as you can tell, I don't know how. I don't think I can cross here. I think I need to go to the bridge. We need to go to the bridge. Um, also, I keep getting a comment telling me that I should kill something when there is a logo above the head. Because it will help me with my finding thing ew you are disgusting oh something with the legs take it florencia oh what is that is that the main city can you hear the music do 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 no, 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 And this one doesn't have a name. Okay. Please let this be correct. So now we are here. It's still not the right, uh, the complete right way. But you know what? A good thing is happening right now. We can attune. And we are going to attune because it's right there on our way. Uh, if we are good, we will find the main... What is it called? Maybe I should turn down the music just a snitch. Um, 
road. The main road. So we need to go up. Is that the main road? Because then I will have issues. What is that? What is this? Is it Nesmia in um, WoW this reminds me of? Am I in danger of being run down if I walk on these? I don't know. Okay, there is a crystal. There is a crystal. Okay. So we'll go get the crystal. Uh, go. There is our big boy. Yay. Aw. I bet you, uh, you eat the cacti. A big boy. Okay. A tuning. You gained 8,870 experience points from discovering a new location. Uh, should I also talk to the chocobo keeps? I'm pretty sure I should. I read a comment telling me that I can only take the chocobo keeps that I have talked with. Right? Uh, well, my traveler, might I interest you in a cho- Oh, it's the first time. Hiring? No, I just wanted to talk with you. So now I need to think. I need to take this down over here. I don't- not down there. Think. Hmm. So this way. Oh, and there is a bridge over here. Ugh. Oh, I don't want to. Ugh. That's disgusting. Ew. No, honestly. Look at this. Are you seeing the same same thing as I am? Oh, and my little baby chick. Let's just take it in for a moment. What? Is that a warty frog? It is! It's my son's landscaping! Natural habitat! Oh, home. Look at them. Are they dangerous? love them so much. <coughs> ah, look at this tongue! Ah. I don't know. I have a hard time. <coughs> Okay, I'll stop now. It's just for funsies. Hello, little tootsie. Unholy hair. Ah, they might not be holy. Okay, I need to think. This way. Sunbed. Interesting. Okay. Out of home. And this way. I love how they crawl. Ew, look at that one. This way. Okay. I think we're doing it okay. I know this is a bit of a travel. Um, but we do be cozy gamers after all. Eastern ten. Yes, I did do what I was supposed to. <gasps> it's raining now. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Okay, stop it. Look at them dancing. I love this. Okay, I need to focus. I'm sorry. Uh, there. It's just so beautiful and I love that it's raining. Like really. And I love these little ones. A tuku tuku. Ooh. If there is a crystal, we are attuning. Yay! Camp dry bone. Oh, can I? Can I oh! Good enough. Good enough. 
Let's see. Cool. Ayla is here. Oh, I need to see this person. Imagine being inside this tent. Junk. What? What do you sell? Junk manga. Mangla. Potions. Salt. Boily. Oh, no, not now. We need to focus just for a little bit. Let's go and turn in the quest. Isambard. Nee, Isambard. Hey, I'm Isambard. Here to search for the missing people, I take it. Uh, Munfilia sent word that an adventurer fitting your description would be uh, along. She also warned us to be uh, wary of the Amel... What? Um, give me a second. Of the Amelja are, it seems we know uh, who the culprits are at the very least. Okay, now I bear no official title at this game, but the people here have come to look for me, look to me for leadership. You have my word that I'll do all I can uh, to help this victim, to help the victim safely return. Cool. What a good guy. Let's see. What do we have for us? Unsolved mystery. Isambard uh, of Camp Drybone is seeking help to solve a mystery of missing persons. Let us get rid. Uh, nay, let us get right into it then. Minfilia names the Amelja culprits in all this. You would do well to investigate them first. Much harm has been uh, leaved, levied uh, on these lands by Amelja hands. The flames burn where they might, but their light cannot stay the darkness in all places of all time. There have been brutal murders of callers at the church of St. Adama, Landama, innocent wishing to more, wishing no more than to pay their respect to the dead. The poor souls deserve a proper burial. I would see to the deed before mong mongrels catch the scent, but I know not of the MLJ still linger. Uh, would you secure their remains for me, friend? You will find them on the eastern road. Twelve willing, you may even come to learn something of what the MLJ seek in this area. What? That's one hell of a quest. And will that, with that, I will end this video here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like if you're new here please subscribe and with that you may stay cozy i hope to see you in the next video bye bye